All right. Good morning, everyone. Okay, so to those of you just coming in into the Zoom, right? Um, so what you need to do is that just check your attendance. Look at, um, you know, line group, right? And then type your name and ID student. Right now, one, two, three, go. So today we are going to study for ACP 304, right? ACP toilet preparation. Mm -hmm. Class number 11, so welcome for, uh, you know, like a good presentation here. Okay, so to those of you who have a number or name, right? On this screen, just raise your hand for me, please. Just because you are asked to do an English presentation here. <laughs> Right, three six two three eight three three eight five three eight seven seven five five and seven five six. So, if anyone exam, just make sure that um, you did it already, right? <clears throat> okay. Okay, good. Um, so, all right, I'm going to check that your friend ready to listen for uh -huh, a team presentation or a good presentation here. Uh, can you type yes for me, please, if you're ready to listen? I mm -hmm. yes, come on. All right, it's time to listen for your friend presentation. One, two, three, go, go. Stop, uh, stop sharing first. Excuse me, teacher. One of my friends can access the meeting. So the password, uh, again, the password, because I just noticed that um, uh, the faculty changed the, the password here. One, two, three, four, five, just because it's... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just let everyone know that you have to change the password to B one two three four five. That's all.
Okay. Good morning, everyone. We are from Group Seven. I'm Sukanjana Mongko Sukunwood, three eight five. I'm Kantika Pansantia, seven five six. I'm Supashaka Kanjana Ki, three eight seven. I'm Kanyala Kamudmi, seven five five. I'm Kim Sharuti Pansa, three six two. And I'm Sahara Sangsa Khan, three eight three. Today we will present you guys with a topic test on the topic of reservation and hospitality. All right, let's start with the first item. Question number one to number four will refer to the following email. Now I will give you one minute to read this email. All right, let's take a look at the first question. Next slide, please. What time should Mr. Jones arrive at the latest? A, 11 a.m., B, 4 p.m., C, 5 p.m., or D, 10 p.m.? I will give you 20 seconds to type your answer in the chat box. If you got the answer, you can type your answer now. Okay, thumbs up. The right answer for this question is D, 10 p.m. because the passage state that reservation will be held until 10 p.m. Next, I will hand over to Tam. Thank you, Fa. Let's move on to question number three, number two. What is I indicated about the reserved hotel room? A is facet the C. B is head to base. C is costly on weekday. D is this one of the smallest room. So if you got your answer, please type in the chat box it within 20 seconds. Okay, let's see the answer. The answer of the question is A is facet the C because in the passage it said that the room type is the ocean view. And next, question number three. The nightly late quoted blah 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 until 10 p.m. June 24 and is exclusive of state and local taxes. Shy A have, uh, have currently. B is guaranteed, C are guaranteed, and D has been guaranteed. Please type your answer in your chat box.
Okay, let's see the answer. The answer of the question is B is currently because the subject is singular and it can't take action by itself. So passive voice is the most appropriate answer. Now I will hand over to Pim. Thank you, Sam. So let's move to the question number four. In which of position marked A, B, C, and D does the following sentence space belong? Thank you for choosing C shell, the C shell in. If you got an answer, let's type in the chat. I will give you 20 seconds. Okay, the time is up. The correct answer is D. E. Since thank you for choosing the C shell in is a closing sentence, uh, which should belong in the last paragraph before the other names. Uh, so the position marked D is the most appropriate position. Next. Question number five to number eight, refer to the following schedule and email. I will give you one minute and a half to read it. Next slide, please. Okay, I think you guys are ready. So let's do the question number five. What is the purpose of Monica's trip to Winston? If you got an answer, please type in the chat box. Okay, so the correct answer is C, to attend a conference. Because from the first sentence in the email, she said that she needs to attend the paper producers conference in Winston next week. I will hand over the next question to me. Thank you, Pim. For question number six, where does Monica want to stay on Wednesday night? A, the High Tower Hotel, B, the Inns at Winston, C, her cousin house, and D, at home. So I will give you 20 seconds to type the answer in chat box. Okay, time's up. 
So the answer is B, the inns at Winston, because Tex say that she would prefer to stay at the inn at Winston, which you can see from the passage in line four that the conference is at the High Tower Hotel, but don't get me a room there. I prefer to stay at the inn at Winston. And next, question number seven. How much will Monica Lau trip ticket cost? A, $43, B, $55, C, $98, and D, $110. You can type the answer in the chat box. Okay, time's up. So the answer is C, $98. Due to the passage, she need to arrive before noon on Wednesday, and she want to book the ticket home on Saturday. So the cost of the ticket should come by weekday and weekend ticket according to fair information. And now I will hand over to Ta. Thank you, Ni. For the question number eight, what time will Monica probably leave Pikesville on Wednesday? A. 5.30 a.m. B. 7.45 a.m. C. 9.30 a.m. And D. 11 a.m. I will give you 20 seconds. Please type the answer in the chat box. Okay, thumbs up. The answer is B boy, 7.45 a.m. Because she doesn't want to wake up early and arrive at Winston before noon. So 7.45 a.m. is the most appropriate time to leave Pikesville. For the question number 9 to 11, refer to the following email. I will give you one minute to read it. Okay, thumbs up. For the question number nine, please take a moment to dot 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 this guideline regarding the use of the conference room. A, revise. B, review. C, revert. D, review. I will give you 20 seconds. Please type the answer in the chat box. Okay, thumbs up. Your answer is B boy review because the word review would be the most appropriate word for using with the word guideline. Next, I will hand it over to Bam. Thank you, Ta. For the question number 10, to ensure that you get the time slot you want, we suggest doing this at least one week. 
A succeeding, B subsequent, C in advance, D in the agenda. You will have 20 seconds to give the answer. Okay, the time is up. Uh, let's see the answer. The answer is in advance C because is this the suitable word that should follow by the word that indicate the time. And the last question is number 11. Please be considerate of others and strengthen the, 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 the room. A off, B in, C up, and D back. You will have 20 seconds to give the answer. Okay, the time is up. Uh, let's see the answer. The answer is C, up, because strengthen up means to behave well. After behaving badly, that is suitable meaning for this blank. Uh, and that's this for all we have today. Thank you for your listening and joining us. All right, thank you so much. Okay, good. So um, six of you have to stand by for an English interview, right? Okay, thank you so much for English presentation. Um, uh, yeah, just present it and see how well that you can understand something else from this slide. All right, okay, good. Um, so here, uh, I'm going to uh, randomly choose one of you first, so seven, um, sorry, six of you have to stand by here. I'm going to start with seven, five, six. Are you there? Yes. Okay, good. Can you tell me a little bit more about you? Um, I am Ganti Gavan Sintia. My nickname is Dam and I, and I'm 21 years old. Now I'm studying humanity faculty which is language peculiar feel. Mm -hmm. All right, good. So um, which question would you like to choose here? Um, I'd like to shoot four. Number four, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, are there any strengths that you would like us to know more and more about you? Yep. Um, I would say I'm really determination and enthusiasm. When I have a goal, whether it is a school, work, or personal method, I'm always focused and determined to achieve the goal. And with my enthusiasm, which is also my strength, it has helped me to achieve my goal quickly and efficiently. Uh -huh. Good. One more question for Ms. Light. Can you share it? Um, number one. Number one, how do you see yourself in next five years from now on? In next five years, I will achieve all my goals that I have been setting up for now. There are many goals that I wrote down on my notepad right now, such as doing the right thing, get a right job, earn make much money, or be the best version of myself. And I believe that I can achieve it all within five years. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you so much for your sharing here. Done, right? Okay, can you type done into the chat box? Just make sure that uh, done for this interview already, there, right? Okay, good. Interview, next, next, I'm going to show 755. Are you there? Good. Yes. All right, um, introduce yourself to me, please. Hello, everyone. My name is Kanyarat Kambunmi, or you can call me Ni. I am 21 years old. 
Now I'm study the third year at the LCI in hospitality tech, and I study German as a third language. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, so uh, which questions would you like to choose here? Number one and number four. One and four. How do you see yourself in next five years from now on? In the next five years, I see myself going up in many parts of my life, such as my sales, living, and being a working age person. In that time, I will learn many things from the past and improve myself to be the best version of me for the future. In the next five years, I would be working in the ally industry, which is challenging job for me to achieve the goal and try to work perfectly in this part. Moreover, I see myself to be the person who focus on my job and try to successful in my life. And lastly, I would say that I wish I would enjoy all part of my life and to be proud of myself. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, so next question to you, are there any strengths that you would like to share us know more and more about you? Yes, I am a very flexible person. I believe that is one of my strengths because I know how to adapt to any problem and situation no matter what happened in my life. Every time when something in my life changed, I try to understand and make everything e easily instead of being, being a part of change. I try to look everything in a positive way and start to cope with change in a creative way. I think this strength of me can help me in my job also because in the ally industry, you should be a flexible person to cope with anything coming. Moreover, I think that life is changing every day in every possible way. So I think flex flexible person is a great strength to stay alive joyful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your sharing here. Done, 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 right? Just type done, right? Okay, good. Next, um, I'm going to I am going to choose three, eight, nine. Right there. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe this one is wrong. 387, sorry. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Um, yeah, please introduce a little bit more about you. Mm -hmm. uh, hello, I am Supashaka Kanchanakit, nicknamed Pim, uh, spelled by P-Y-M instead of P-I-M. I think it's cool. And uh, I am LCI in business track. Uh, my third language is Japanese. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so which questions would you like to choose here? Uh, number one and number three. One and three. Okay, good. Um, how do you see yourself in the next five years after now on? Mm -hmm. I think along the uh, first year to fifth years that you are, I will do a freelance along with my full-time job uh, to prepare to quit and do freelance for a living in fifth years. Uh, I might do drawing and illustration commission or being novel writing that I'm not sure about that, but I want to uh, have financial freedom little by little I think next five years, I will be well prepared to live a life and uh, as other people, even if quite late from other people in the same age of me. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Next question to you is that, do you think self position require convincing skills and how? Absolutely. Uh, since making someone to buy something needs skill, uh, even the product may able to make customer to interested in the product by itself, but sale person still needs to able to read customer mind and their action to the uh, product. Then the convincing skill will be performed to make customer to feel that the, the product is worth and value to buy. Mm -hmm. I see. Good. Thank you so much for your sharing here. All right. Done. Thank you. Done, done. <laughs> done, done, done. Next one I'm going to share is 385. Are you there? 
Yes. Yep. All right. Good. So, um, tell me a little bit more about you. Okay. Um, my name is Sutanjana Mongkonsukunwood. I'm 21 years old, uh, and and I'm a student. I'm a third year student of uh of Sinakari Milo University in the Faculty of Humanity, uh, majoring in LCI in business track. My passion for for learning a language it start almost ten years ago. I and I'm currently learning third uh three languages. Uh mm huh. -hmm. All right. So um, which questions would you like to share? Number two, number two, and number three. Two and three. All right. So my first question to you is that if your co-workers was unsatisfied with your cooperation or your need to work together, right? And how could you handle this kind of situation, actually? Uh, I will directly talk to the co-worker uh, about the problem and ask which part that he or she uh, unsatisfied with or want me to adjust because I think uh, working together requires cooperation from both sides. So if there is a conflict while working, uh, I, it, can it can negatively affect the work results. So therefore I think to have a direct conversation with my coworker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, next question is that uh, question number five, is that right? And it's number four. No. Or number, three. Number three. Ah, number three. Okay, good. Um, yes. so do you think sales positions require convincing skills? Huh? Uh, in my opinion, uh sales positions require convincing skill because uh convincing greatly influence the purchasing decision decision of the customer. And having good convincing skill can be helpful and easy to make selling your product or service. And for example, uh, convince the customer by using an effective speech, by choosing powerful words and using the right tone that can stim stimulate the listener feeling uh, into taking an action to purchase. Mm -hmm. That's it. Good. Thank you so much for your sharing here. All right, Thank done, you. done, done. <laughs> Next, um, I'm going to choose 383. Are you there? Yes. Good. Um, so, could you tell us a little bit more about you? Yep. Uh, good morning. Um, Sahara Song Sakhon. I'm 21 years old. I'm studying in language for career in hospitality tech, and I also studying Japanese as my third language. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so, which question would you like to choose here? Uh, I choose number one and number four. One and four. How do you see yourself in next five years from now on? So my goal is to move out of this country and start my new life in Japan. And I have done a research before this interview and I discovered that having high skill and fluency in Japanese would be easier to work abroad in Japan. So in the next five years from now on, I would focus on continue developing my skills especially my third language, which is Japanese. And I truly believe that I can pursue my goal and eventually move to Japan by working hard over the next few years. Mm -hmm. I see. Next question to you, are there any strengths that you would like us to know more about you? Yes, uh, I consider my confidence is my greatest strength. From my childhood to the present, there were significant problems that I had to face. And I believe that every time I came over those problems, my confidence is a significant factor. So whether it's a big or small problem, I always think to myself that I can do it and motivated myself to overcome those problems by believing in myself. And I strongly believe that my confidence would help me grow far in my career path and accomplish my life goal. Uh -huh. That's it. Good. Thank you so much for sharing here. Uh -huh. Done. Just type down in, in the chat box. And the last one for today is that um, 362. Is that right? Yes. All right. Good. Um, so could you tell us a little bit more about you? 
Okay, my name is Pim Sharuti Pompasut, or you can call me Da. I am 21 years old. I am studying at Sinakrin Willow University in LCI Business Track. Mm -hmm. So, which question would you like to choose her? I would like to choose number two and number four. Two and four, right? Okay, so if a coworker was unsatisfied with cooperation that you need to work together, how could you handle this kind of situation? Mm -hmm. I will ask my coworker directly what happened, which point that you are not satisfied with and why. I believe that being open mind and talking is important for working together mm -hmm. because talking will let you know what is what the problem is and can find a solution together or the middle point that both are satisfied. Whenever a problem is not solved, it will accumulate and negatively affect both of us and the work as well. Mm -hmm. And next question to you is that are there any strengths that you like us to know more about you? Um, my strength is that I am a responsible and meticulous person with my assignment. I will start planning, prepare information, and determine the duration of work to make work efficient and finish within the specific time. Moreover, I have to take time to recheck directly before submitting because I will be satisfied with the best version of work. I believe that this is the good thing and have a positive positive effect on my life. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your sharing here. Done, 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 right? Okay, everyone type done once you're done for this interview. Okay, good. Um, so <laughs> um, this is kind of a flaw or, um, you know, I can say that this is an opportunity to practice your speaking, right? And I try to make sure that everyone uh, can prepare a bit. This is the reason that we have to do this kind of interesting activity together. Hope you guys enjoy with this kind of thing, right? And next, um, for this one, right, I'm going to let you listen a bit just because it's all about um, the core content for this ACP 304. Um, the aim or expectation of the course is that um, to make sure that you can reach seven or seven, seven and 700 from the, you know, uh, TOEIC score. So this is the reason that you have to practice together. So I let you listen for whole session, one, two, three, and four. If you wish to do the test, please feel free to do so. Yeah. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part one, directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. The man is driving a forklift. B. The woman is lifting some boxes. C. Items are stacked up in the warehouse. D. Packages are being delivered to customers. Statement C. Items are stacked up in the warehouse. Is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. Several passengers are getting off the train. B. The subway has arrived at the station. C. Tickets are being sold to passengers. D. There are no seats available in any of the cars. Number two. 
Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. The seated people are all facing the same direction. B. The outdoor dining area at the cafe is completely full. C. One man is walking in front of the seated individuals. D. Waiters are bringing plates of food to the diners. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. A lecture is being given in a boardroom. B. The woman has gotten up from the chair. C. A diagram is being drawn on the board by the woman. D. Some documents have been placed on the table. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. Customers are trying on some new shirts in the store. B. A large number of shirts are being displayed on hangers. C. The clothes are currently on sale for low prices. D. A picture is hanging from the wall above the clothes. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. There are several sheep in the field. B. One of the ships is sailing beneath the bridge. C. People are getting on board the ship. D. Pedestrians are walking alongside the waterway. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. Several participants in the meeting appear to be bored. B. All of the chairs have been pushed under the table. C. A computer has been placed in the center of the table. D. The decision to hold the meeting has been tabled. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Number 7. How much longer do you need on this project? A. About 10 pages long. B. Roughly half an hour. C. In my office soon. Number 8. Why hasn't anyone responded to that complaint? A. That's the response she gave us. B. Yes, it looks a bit plain to me. C. I thought Ted already handled it. Number 9. Do you want me to see if the item is still in stock? A. I would appreciate that a lot. B. I don't have stock in that company. C. This is the item that I purchased. Number 10. The picnic has been postponed until next week, hasn't it? A. Sometime last Friday. B. That's what I heard. C. I'm going to the picnic. Number 11. You'd better be on your best behavior at the meeting. A. He's behaving properly. B. That's the best product. C. I promise to do that. Number 12. Nobody can remember Miss Carlyle's phone number, right? A. You should ask Jane for it. B. She called a while ago. C. No, I'm not on the phone. Number 13. Where is the nearest gas station in this neighborhood? A. I'll fill up the car later today. B. We're in the cold water neighborhood. C. There's one right down the street. Number 14. What time should we expect Ms. Carter to arrive? A. On Monday or Tuesday. B. Sometime after 6. C. Around 40 minutes ago.
Number 15. I believe you ought to see a doctor about that cough. A. That's what my husband said. B. He's been coughing all day. C. No, I don't want any coffee. Number 16. Who should we send on the business trip to Tokyo? A. About two weeks from now. B. To negotiate a new contract. C. How about Mark or Anna? Number 17. Can you give me directions to the Wishbone Cafe? A. Yes, this is the map you asked for. B. You'll love the selection of teas there. C. Sorry, but I've never heard of it. Number 18. Which of these three proposals are we thinking of accepting? A. Yes, there are three of them. B. Probably the second one. C. We will accept the offer tomorrow. Number 19. Will Martin conduct the interviews or is John doing them? A. Actually, Peter will be doing them. B. Martin and John are co-workers. C. Yes, that's correct. Number 20. There appears to be a problem with your car's engine. A. Thanks for fixing it for me. B. What exactly is wrong with it? C. How much do I owe you for it? Number 21. I can't recall where Miss Hamilton's office is located. A. She's in Mr. Wilkins' office now. B. It's in the building by the Sultan Theatre. C. No, I haven't located her yet. Number 22. The agenda for the staff meeting is already settled, isn't it? A. Not to the best of my knowledge. B. Yes, Jeff is a member of the staff here. C. I settled the problem this morning. Number 23. How often does the subway come to this station? A. Five or six times an hour. B. On the number three line. C. Go out exit number nine. Number 24. Would you prefer taking the train or flying to the conference? A. Yes, that's a good idea. B. We flew there last week. C. Either is fine with me. Number 25. Did you remember to turn off the lights before you left? A. Yes, I remember what they look like. B. Oh, no, I totally forgot. C. No, I haven't left the office yet. Number 26. The interviews won't begin until this Friday, will they? A. I believe that's correct. B. Fred's going to interview then. C. Friday's a busy day for her. Number 27. Would you mind picking up a sandwich from the deli for me? A. They are delighted to see you. B. Sure, I can share my lunch with you. C. Not at all. What would you like? Number 28. I suggest calling the customer service hotline immediately. A. Yes, you can borrow my telephone. B. I'm expecting to get good service. C. Do you know the telephone number? Number 29. What do I need to do to open a new bank account here? A. I need two forms of picture ID. B. Fill out this form to withdraw money. C. At the First National Bank branch. Number 30. Shouldn't we reserve a car for our trip to Los Angeles? A. No, I haven't reserved a car yet. 
B. We could just take public transportation. C. On the morning of the 30th. Number 31. We need to get in touch with the caterer regarding the event. A. I'll instruct Miss Johnson to do that. B. Please be sure not to touch it. C. I catered several meals in the past. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Mr. Sanders. This is Julie Maple calling. I contacted you by email this morning about a condo I'd like to look at. Do you have time to show me the place today? I sure do, Miss Maple. You mentioned you'd prefer to check it out around 3.30. Is that time still satisfactory for you? Oh, no, it isn't. I've got a meeting scheduled at 4, so I'd like to see the place around 2 instead. That should give me plenty of time to check out the property. Fortunately, I've got time then, so I can comply with your request. Why don't we meet at 52 Jackson Avenue at that time? Number 32. Who most likely is the man? Number 33. What does the woman want to do? Number 34. When are the speakers going to meet? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. I'm pleased we finally completed the interviews with the job candidates. I had no idea they were going to take nearly the entire day. I know what you mean. I was on the intern search committee last year, and the interviews only required about half the time that this year's did. So which of the applicants did you like the most? I thought Sarah Carpenter was impressive and believe we should strongly consider her for a position. She's definitely one of the leading candidates in my mind. We'll have to be sure to invite her back to conduct a second interview. Number 35. What are the speakers discussing? Number 36. What does the woman say about last year's activities? Number 37. What is the man's opinion of Sarah Carpenter? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Lara, how is the work on the redesign of the Fargo building progressing? Do you think that you're going to be able to finish everything by tomorrow's deadline? I'm afraid not, Mr. Ito. The work is taking much longer than I expected it to. However, I've started making good progress, so I am positive that I can submit the blueprints to you no later than noon on Friday. All right, I'll call the client now and request an extension. But you had better finish everything by the new due date. The client is eager to get a look at the plans, and I don't want to disappoint them. Number 38. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 39. Where most likely do the speakers work? Number 40. What does the woman mention about her work? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Did you happen to read the news about promotions on the bulletin board? The list was just posted a few minutes ago. I can't believe Alice Milton got promoted to director. You've got to be kidding me. 
I heard she was probably going to get transferred to another branch or maybe even fired. Do you mean she's going to be our boss now? That's right. According to what I read, her promotion won't go into effect for another month, though. I'm considering making a request to transfer to another office. Number 41. What is being discussed? Number 42. What do the speakers say about Alice Milton? Number 43. How does the man feel? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Good morning. What can I assist you with today, sir? I'd like to open a checking account. How can I go about doing that? It's a very simple process. First, you have to fill out this form here, and then you need to show me two forms of identification. Should both of them be picture IDs? I've only got my driver's license with me. One has to have a picture, but the other can be something such as a library card. Would you happen to have a bill with your name and address on it as well? Yes, I do. Here's my most recent electricity bill. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, let me complete the form right now. Number 44. Where does the conversation take place? Number 45. What kind of identification does the woman suggest? Number 46. What does the man give the woman? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Did you attend last night's award ceremony? I had planned to go, but I needed to work late to complete the budget reports for tomorrow's meeting. That's a shame. It was the most surprising event I've attended in my five years here. You can say that again. I heard about it from Steve Burgess in the IT department. He dropped by this morning to inform me about what happened. Can you believe Andrew Simmons won the Employee of the Year award? I was positive Emily Hargraves was going to be the winner. What did Andrew do to deserve it? There's a rumor going around that he just landed a multi-million dollar contract. There hasn't been an official announcement, though. If that's true, that would explain everything. Number 47. Why does the man say, you can say that again? Number 48. Why are the speakers surprised? Number 49. What does the woman say about Andrew Simmons? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Good evening. I wonder if you can give me some assistance. I'll do my best, sir. What do you require help with? I received this shirt as a birthday present yesterday, but it's not really my style. Would it be possible to exchange it for something else? You didn't take it out of the original plastic wrapping, right? Yeah, that's correct. But because it was a gift, I don't have the receipt. I'm really sorry about that. That's perfectly all right. We handle requests like this on occasion, and since I know that the shirt was sold here, I'm permitted to let you exchange it for something else costing the same price or lower. That's great news. Can you show me where the men's shirts are, please? Number 50. Why is the man asking for assistance? Number 51. Why does the man dislike the item? Number 52. What will the speakers probably do next? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. I'm nervous about the new boss we're getting tomorrow. Have either of you met him? 
I had lunch with Dave Thompson last week. What was your impression of him? Yeah, what was he like? Do you think he'll make a good boss? It's hard to tell. How come? He didn't say much at all. There were four of us dining together, but he mostly sat quietly and listened to us talk. I heard he's planning to restructure the department and that there might be layoffs. I hope your news is wrong, but I'm afraid you're right. Still, none of us has been performing up to expectations lately, so it makes sense that he's coming here to shake things up. And that's why all of us are worried. Number 53. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 54. What does the woman mean when she says, It's hard to tell. Number 55. What are the speakers concerned about? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Good afternoon. Is this the number I should call regarding subscriptions to the Daily Herald? That's correct, sir. Are you interested in subscribing to the paper? Actually, I already get the newspaper delivered to my home each day, but my subscription is about to expire and I'd like to renew it. My name is Charles Anderson. OK. Are you the Charles Anderson living at 58 Oak Street? That's right. I'd like to receive the paper for six more months, please. No problem, Mr. Anderson. You know, we're running a special offer this month only. If you renew for one year, it will cost the same as it would if you paid for eight months. Are you interested? That's a pretty good deal. How about signing me up for it, please? Number 56. Why does the man call the woman? Number 57. Why does the woman say the man's address? Number 58. What does the woman tell the man about? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Do you know why the shipment from Dyson Manufacturing has failed to arrive yet? I called Mr. Sykes this morning and he explained the problem to me. Yes? Apparently there was a bad snowstorm in Montana last week, so no trucks were able to leave the factory for three days. Did he indicate when our shipment is going to make it here? He informed me that he spoke with the driver and that we can expect it first thing tomorrow morning. That's a relief. Without the items in that delivery, we will have to shut down the assembly lines. Would you mind calling him back to confirm when the products are arriving? Not at all. I can give him a call once I return to my office. Number 59. What is the problem? Number 60. Why does the woman say, That's a relief. Number 61. What does the woman request that the man do? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. I've considered all the proposals, but I can't make up my mind. Which vendor should we hire? I'm in favor of selecting the Powell Corporation. Why? It has a proven track record of providing outstanding customer support. If anything goes wrong, Powell will handle it immediately. That's a strong endorsement. Have you worked with Powell before? Not personally. However, I know people who have, and they're unanimous in praising the company's dedication to service. Well, I think we should go with the BYR company. Its prices are the lowest, and we have financial constraints to worry about. Hmm, you're right about that. Let me think about everything for a while. I'll inform you of my choice by 5 p.m. Number 62. What is being discussed? Number 63. What does the man say about the Powell Corporation? Number 64. 
number 64. What will happen at 5 p.m.? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and advertisement. Excuse me, I'm looking to buy a blender. The top of the line model is this one here by Nelson Electronics. However, unless you're employed as a cook, you probably don't need it. It's also a bit pricey. I intend to use it a couple of times each week, so it doesn't need to be anything special. In that case, I recommend this one. It's our best-selling blender. It looks fine, and the price isn't too bad either. Just so you know, we've got a special sale going on at the moment. Depending upon how much money you spend, you can get anywhere between 5 and 20% off. Sounds great. So how much of a discount will I get for buying this one? You'll receive an extra 15% off. Excellent. Number 65. What does the woman indicate about the blender by Nelson Electronics? Number 66. How often will the man use his blender? Number 67. Look at the graphic. How much will the man spend on the item? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and schedule. What a great speech that Dr. Apu just gave. I'm glad I decided to attend it at the last moment. I fully agree with you. His discussion on those new medical procedures was quite instructive. So, uh, what are you planning to do next? I'm attending the speech by Dr. Archer. He's a world-renowned expert on vaccinations. That doesn't appeal to me very much. Instead, I'm going to the lecture being given by Dr. Probst. I took a class with him at med school, so it will be nice to see him again. All right. They both finish at the same time, so how about meeting here at 1.30 and having lunch when the talks are over? Good thinking. I'll see you in a while. Number 68. Where most likely are the speakers? Number 69. Look at the graphic. Which room will the woman be in? Number 70. What does the man suggest about Dr. Probst? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following talk. Before we close this meeting, there's one more thing I'd like to cover. I'm well aware of the problems at the Dayton factory. A team of inspectors was sent there to look at the problems this morning, so none of you needs to worry about that anymore since we're handling the issue. I would, however, like to thank all of you who reported the problems to me. Your observations may have helped us avoid a catastrophe, and that's something I'd like to remind everyone to do. When you see something wrong, let a supervisor know immediately. That's how we can prevent small issues from transforming into major problems. Number 71. Where most likely does the talk take place? Number 72. What does the speaker say about the Dayton facility? Number 73. What does the speaker tell the listeners to do? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Mr. Russell. 
This is Mandy Jenkins from Winston's. I'd like you to know that your laptop has been repaired, so you can come here to pick it up any time we're open. We'll be closing our doors at 8.30 tonight and reopening them at 9 tomorrow morning. By the way, the problem with your computer wasn't as severe as we had initially feared. We didn't have to replace the hard drive. Instead, we just reinstalled some software and that cleared the problem right up. So you'll only be charged $50 for the work we did. Number 74. What does the speaker ask Mr. Russell to do? Number 75. What time will Winston's open tomorrow? Number 76. According to the speaker, how was the problem solved? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following advertisement. Now that the renovations on Fred's Diner are complete, we are once again ready to open our doors to the public. With more than 500 square feet of space added, we can fit more customers than ever before. That means you won't have to wait long to get a table. This weekend only, we're having a special sale to celebrate our reopening. Order one entree, and you can get a second one of equal or lesser value for free. Come down to 76 Dansby Avenue and check us out. You won't regret it. Number 77. What is the restaurant celebrating? Number 78. When is the restaurant having a sale? Number 79. What can customers get during the sale period? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. May I have your attention, please? It looks like the snow has been cleaned off the runway, so planes are being cleared for takeoff. We're fifth in line, so we've got a few minutes before it's our turn. In the meantime, would everyone please be sure your seat belts are buckled and your baggage is stowed properly? Once we get airborne, we'll rise quickly to get above these storm clouds. After that, I expect to make up for lost time. We should have constant tailwinds the entire trip, which should help us make the flight to Moscow faster than normal. Number 80. What caused the delay? Number 81. What does the speaker ask the passengers to do? Number 82. What does the speaker mean when he says, After that, I expect to make up for lost time. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following traffic report. Good evening, listeners. This is Kate Charles at the WTRO News Desk with a breaking news report for you. The East Bay Bridge has been closed to traffic. About 20 minutes ago, the bridge was struck by a barge passing beneath it. There are apparently cracks in one of the bridge's columns, so no vehicles or pedestrians are being allowed on it. Motorists are being redirected to other bridges in the city. This has understandably created serious traffic issues throughout the city. I'll keep you updated as soon as anything new comes across my desk. And now back to Earl Jenkins with today's sports news. Number 83. What happened to the bridge? Number 84. What does the speaker indicate about traffic? Number 85. What will listeners hear next? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following talk. 
I'm really proud of the way everybody in this room contributed to the conference we held here last weekend. Thanks to your efforts, it was a complete success. We had more than 250 people attend the conference, and the feedback we've received thus far has been unanimous. The attendees felt that the event was educational and well worth their time. As an added bonus, more than 30 of them registered for the seminar we're holding next month. So it's time for us to initiate our preparations for that event. How about taking a look at the handouts in front of you? Number 86. What is the main purpose of the talk? Number 87. What did the attendees mention about the event? Number 88. What will the speaker most likely do next? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. I'd like to provide an update regarding the branch openings in Europe and Asia. Our stores in Europe are attracting large numbers of customers. They're performing according to our expectations. In fact, due to the revenue they're bringing in, we're considering opening several more stores on the continent later this year. On the other hand, our sales in Asia are much lower than we had hoped. We're not sure what's wrong, since our products are popular in many Asian countries. On Monday, we hired an advertisement agency with expertise in Asian markets to improve our image there. Number 89. What is the speaker mainly discussing? Number 90. What does the speaker mean when she says, They're performing according to our expectations. Number 91. What did the company do this week? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following telephone message and price list. Good morning, Mr. Jackson. This is Cynthia Watson from the Two Towers Resort. We received your email regarding your desire to book a double room with us. Unfortunately, the weekend you intend to stay with us is extremely busy because we're hosting a conference. As of this moment, there's only one room available to reserve. It's a junior suite, so it will cost a bit more than the room you requested. If you're interested in booking this room, please contact me as quickly as you can at 692-5768. I doubt this room will remain available for much longer. Number 92. Why did the speaker call Mr. Jackson? Number 93. Look at the graphic. How much more for a room must Mr. Jackson pay? Number 94. Why does the speaker tell Mr. Jackson to call her back? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk and map. Welcome to the Museum of National History. My name's Peter, and I'll be showing you some of the exhibits here today. First, I'd like to tell you about something that isn't covered on the tour. This morning, we opened a new exhibit featuring numerous items more than 300 years old. This exhibit provides a fascinating glimpse at life in colonial times, and you'll be sure to love it. It's in the west wing of the museum. You can purchase tickets for it at the booth beside the museum's front doors. Now let's get started. If you'll look straight behind me, you can see the first exhibit. Number 95. What is the man's job? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Where can visitors buy tickets to the special exhibit? Number 97. 
What will the speaker do next? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and graph. All right, let's get this meeting started. Today we received the figures from the first quarter, and they're somewhat worse than we had expected. So I'm going to discuss each type of item we sell, starting with the worst selling one first. However, before I do that, I'd like to introduce our newest employee to you. Her name is Sheila Roberts, and she's an assistant manager in the marketing department. Today is Sheila's first day on the job, so I imagine this is the first time most of you are meeting her. Sheila, how about standing up and taking a couple of moments to introduce yourself, please? Number 98. Look at the graphic. What product will the speaker talk about first? Number 99. Who is Sheila Roberts? Number 100. What will probably happen next? All right, shall we break? Okay, so just let's uh, take a break for a 15 minute, right? 15 minute break, that's it.
Okay, everyone, are you ready to study? <laughs> study and learn, right? Okay, if you're ready, type one for me, please. One, 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 right? Okay, so we can start studying right now. Okay, good. Um, so I'm going to start for the first question here so we can do it together. What you need to do is that just read it and try to um, you know, choose the correct answer here before I answer it, is it okay? Mm. All right, so um, shall we start for the first questions here from this uh, part five in complete sentence vocabulary content. So here it's all about like yeah, your passport test, right? So meaning that you have to be focused a bit just because it's not that easy. Right, this system which was regarded as blah, blah, blah has been subjected to vicarious criticism by later economists. A, dependable. B boy, reliable, C cat, authoritative, authoritative, mm -hmm. and do that here, trustworthy. So, here, once we identify here this system, right? The system meaning that you need to come up with the, you know, suitable vocabulary here, which is related to this context. So we say something dependable, you depend on someone else. So it's suit for people here, reliable too, just because it's all about trait and personality here. We can cross A, cross B. So next one, we can wait between the two, authoritative or even trustworthy. Again, trustworthy, meaning that we put this kind of adjective toward people, right? You are really trustworthy to me, that's it. So the answer will go for C cat here. Everyone type C for me, please. Next, the new plaza enclosed a sloped walkway with light handrails that leads to the front door which is designed to be an ADA, blah, 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 and easier for seniors to tra traverse. Once you um, identify for this context, right, what we need to see is that the possible answer key here, right? Um, a question. If you don't understand or you don't know the meaning of each word, it's fine, right? So you just put just only the right foot here, compliant, amenable, or accommodating. So here, the context is all about easier for a senior, right? Easier, meaning positive. We have to see something that is positive, is that okay? If we say something here, mm. you can cross um, the meaning of that uh, neutral, it's not that positive. So I think the dot here, we can cross it, accommodating, cross it, right? Or even A, cross it. So we can wait between the two. Compliant, compliant or amenable. Amenable here is all about friendship, but here it's all about senior, right? For senior. So meaning that is comfortable or easy. So the answer we go for B boy. Everyone type B for me, please. And be able to Next, um, the Mandarin native of officials classes recruited from a range of, a, of the people by blah, 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 examination. A, competitive. B, ambitious. C, cat here. Zealous and deduct here. Keen. So here we, uh, we can see that the possible choices here um, are our descent meaning in context. So what we need to see is that we have to identify the, you know, the now here. Examination is not proper for the people, right? So when it comes to talk about people, we have to use an adjective that um, describe a people here. So we can see like b-boy, ambitious personality, zealous personality, and then keen cup personality. So we can cross it B, C, and D. So the answer will go for A. Just because examination here is not that person, okay? Everyone type A. Um, 
Yeah, moving to the next question here. Um, she heard a note of hesitation alongside blah 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 in his broken voice. So the context here is that in his broken voice, reflection, deliberation, consideration, or contempt, uh, contemplation. So here, if we talked about reflection, meaning that uh, something reflect from the other thing, right? But the context here is not that fit for reflection. We, we can cross it. Deliberation is all about freedom. Freedom, right? Freedom of space. Deliberation, that's it. Consideration, meaning they're close to, close to something else. Or oh, it's in the same way. And contemplation is all about focus or endeavor to do something else. Here is all about hurt something. Hurt hesitation with consideration the answer will go for c cat here c c c c come on echo dong ma moving to next right um the hope of achievement i'm sorry achieving parliamentary blah 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 on the basis of such loyal um declarations declaration meaning that advertisement or a you know, notification right of this soon vanish disappear a coordination, B boy collaboration, C cat partnership and D dot here cooperation. The hope of achieving parliamentary. So the context is all about parliamentary, right? So if we choose coordination, I think it's not that fit for this blank just because coordination is all about like if you, uh, let's say like a, the uh, movement of the body, right? The move the coordination of that body movement, that's it. Collaboration is all about like, um, if you talked about or an organization that mutual cooperation, collaboration here, or even partnership here. So we can cross A, cross B, cross C. So the answer we go for it, cooperation, just because for this context, it's all about like um, helping to each other in that parliamentary here. Everyone type D for me, please, D doc. Mm -hmm. Yet, next it is estimated that about one half of the Russian agriculture population, blah blah blah, their income by engaging in non agricultural pursuit. A addition, B amplification, C increasing, and then D up here supplement. It is estimated. It is predicted that one half. So it's all about proportion here. Is that right? Proportion here, engaging non agricultural process. So meaning that the context here, we need the meaning of support, back up something. Is that right? So the answer will go for D dot here. Supplement meaning back up here. Everyone type D dot for me, please. Addition here, meaning that uh, moreover, amplification is the same, increasing, right? Cross A, cross B, cross C, and the answer will go for D dot, D dot here, and that's it. Moving to next question here, where blah, 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 is the effect of pernis in the quality of the blood? The results are of course more widespread. A, malnourishment, malnourishment, so we can see like uh, this one is perfect, right? Not nourishment is completion or complete. Uh -huh. So meaning that is um, insufficient here. Dietary deficiency, malnutrition, starvation. So we can see like the, the same meaning in con uh, the same meaning, probably close to the same meaning here. But what you need to do is that you have to see the context, the effects of the of poorness of the quality of the blood. Once we talked about something poor, something uh, decreasing, so meaning that, um, you know, that thing is not enough. Is that right? Malnourishment is not that fit for, um, I can say that it's not that fit for uh, talking about health or health condition here, right? Uh -huh. So you can cross it. Dietary deficiency, it's okay or malnutrition. So we have to put the word just on the head into the point. Here, B-boy and C-cat would be the same meaning. But what we need to do is that D, 
just only one word, right? Malnutrition here would be the answer. Everyone type C for me, please. That's it. And you can reveal, right? Uh, which one would be the correct and correct and the most correct one again, yeah. Next one, um, the silk fabric of a French hold the first place, blah, 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 the more expensive kind. A, exceptionally, B-boy, especially. C cat particularly, and then did up here extra or did narrowly. So here we can see like the context, uh, it talks about silk fabric. So this is something, right? A product, it's not that a person. So we can cross something that is not fit for this one, right? Exceptionally, I don't think that it could be fit for this blank. We can cross it. Or even extraordinary is beyond, right? Too much or exaggerated for this in terms of meaning here. Cross A, cross um, D dot here. So we can differentiate between the two, especially or particularly. Mm -hmm. So here it talks about um, something, a product. So when it comes to talk about especially, especially you, just because of you, right? So it's served for the meaning of a person here. So the answer would go for C cat here. Everyone type C, C. C cat. Mm. Next. The language must be one used by the nation, not a blah, blah, blah thing, artificial thing, synthetic thing, imitating, imitated, imitation thing, or even substitution thing. Okay, good. Um, so the language must be one used by nation. So meaning that this one would be like reflect something in reality. Is that right? So. Um, if we choose artificial, would be the correct one here. So everyone type A for me, please. Artificial is all about fake, right? But if you uh, if you choose um, synthetic, meaning that synthetic something, prosthetic synthetic, for example, like uh, something uh, create for a synthetic product. That's it. Imitation, reflection here, or even substitution, replacement here. That's it. And the last question here, when we use blah, 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 we kill them as well as the harmful insect and even the bees, defoliant, pesticide, pesticide, sorry, paraquat, fungicide. So the meaning in contact here is all the same, right? We kill them would be the key here. Insect, also the keyword. So the answer will go for B boy. That's it. Everyone type B for me, please. And um, yeah, it's all about passport. Tell us what you need to do is that just review and recall, right? From the first question one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, ten. And I just give you the answer key here. If you have any question, feel free to ask, feel free to share, that's it. All right, moving to the next one. This is all about final exam here. Um, I'm going to let you read for one minute for, for this slide, also one minute for this slide. So, okay, so we can start from this one first. All right. Let me add the cap.
All right, all right. Okay, so here it's all about reading comprehension, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you find a keyword first, just because it is very important for reading, right? Um, so basically what you need to do is that just using the um, scheme scan first. Okay, again, a scheme is that um, just find a keyword or even the important uh, vocabulary of that context, right? Or even uh, scanning, um, you can find the right uh, domain idea in each context too. Okay, good. So here it's all about like email, right? To someone else from correct procedure and subject of this procedure here. So what you need to identify is that you have to understand the topic sentence first. Um, so everyone can type procedure, procedures for me, please because it is the keyword here. Next, I have been on a job earlier week, but I am finding that the office procedures in the book and those carried out in the staff sometimes differ. As a supervisor, I want to do my job correctly. But at the same time, I don't want to spoil people's plans. So do you think it is positive or negative one here? As a supervisor, as a manager, as a teacher, I want to do my job perfectly. But so the a contradiction here, so meaning is all this, all the sign of this contact would be negative. Everyone type negative for me, please. Just because you need to, um, you know, check the understanding by yourself first. For example, it is all right for the staff to punch in time card of the other employees who have not yet arrived. Another question I have concerns of is at all some of the younger staff members are coming to work in the t-shirts and sneakers. Mm -hmm. So the point here is all about punct time, right? Punching in time, punctuality. Okay, again, can you type punctual, punctuality here, right? So because this is the first keyword, it's all about a problem that um, he or she raised in this email. And the second one is that the problem is all about um, t-shirt and sneaker. Staff member, violation to the hour office dress. Okay, so um, the second one is all about dress code here, just because someone did not um, you know, follow by the rules or regulation that is provided by the company. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to seem like a grandfather, grandfather, but these roots were made for some purpose, that's it. Aware of my ability to communicate directly with others, but if I don't know how far I should go in correcting others' behavior, I'm afraid I will be neither credibility, neither nor influent. Um, does he think that he is credi credible here? The answer is no, right? Everyone type no for me, please. Uh, yes, no, we got any name. No influence with those under supervision, please advise as soon as possible. That's it. All right, so here, it's all about like, uh, you need to find the main idea and also the keyword here. Moving to next one, notice to all employee. So um, when they um, reply, uh, let's say like wrote the email, right? So the action plan here happened, notice to all employees. This is memorandum, memorandum, right? It has come to my attention that several of his procedures are being ignored. So the keyword here, ignore, is that right? Everyone type ignore for me, please. Ignore, mm, ignoring, nothing to know. This procedure was set in a place by the management for the smooth functioning 
of the office as well as the equitable treatment for all employees. From today forward, any employees who does not follow the procedure listed below will face disciplinary action as played out in the union management agreement, blah, blah, blah. Specifically, these include, but are not limited to. So here, once you did not follow the instruction, right? So you can say like uh, for the first paragraph, it talks about rules and regulations. Is that right? Everyone type rules and regulation here. Mm -hmm. Next, punk clock, punch clock authority. No staff member may punch another member's card. The purpose of punch clock is to ensure punctuality uh -huh. and a fair distribution of labor. See, blah, blah, blah. If a member of a good and verifiable reason, to be late for work, he or she can discuss the problem with super supervisor, but the union and management from tempering with punk clock. So here the first, um, let's say like in the second paragraph, it's all about like punctuality, right? So once you wanna do in this, um, you know, keep responsibility in this company, you need to perform yourself as a punctual person or punctuality is a key. Everyone type punctuality. Good. Next office dress code, all employees must follow the dress code strictly. Many clients visit our office appearances matter the most in the world of the business and what they see may influence their perception to our company. Again, disciplined action must be taken against anyone plotting in the code. To be clear, the above procedure was established to ensure a sense of community. So the reason that they're gonna let everyone follow the rule of office dress code, just because they talked about sense of community. Is that right? Okay, so everyone type community here, just because this is the reason of um, follow the dress code mm. based on office efficiency and equity of work and working condition, protecting company, professionalism, and your job. Uh, try to keep profession, professionalism here. And then contrary opinions in writing or in personal welcome. So me me meaning that um, for this one is, is all about like, um, is gonna have a change or opportunity to feel free to discuss. Is that right? Uh -huh. Meaning that if you wanna uh, dress differently, you can talk to the monthly working management meeting, blah, 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 right? That's it. All right, so it's all about um, reading comprehension. Now, shall we start for the first question here? The, the phrase spoil. People plan, spoil, meaning that let them do everything. Is that right? So freedom of the email is the closest meaning to this term. Wrong here. Make a fool of oneself. Seem like Florida. Take all the credit. Let them do. Take all the credit. So the answer may go for a D dot here. Is that right? Everyone type D for me, please. Just because sport, meaning that you let everyone do whatever they want, meaning that you don't have any credit to be a management position here, that's it. Moving to next one, what is the Mr. Martin concerned about his job as a supervision, supervision supervisor? A, he is working too hard, concerned. Neither nor, neither respect nor professionalism. His work is too, uh, too difficult. So we can cross A, cross B. He does not know English, we can cross C too. And the answer will be D dot here. He does not know his strict he should be, how strict he should be. 
Everyone type deduct to me, please. That's it. Moving to next question, um, what is the general manager's response to Mr. Martin request A? He is immediately supportive. He does, Mr. Martin claims. So when Mr. Martin wrote the email, right? And then the action plan will be happen next. So uh, he care about it. He takes credit for a new policy and he complained to the union, meaning that the action plan happened. Um, he has a credit enough to do so. Everyone type C for me, please. Mm. Next, what is union attitude toward punct club? Punct clubs. So it's all about punctuality or keep track in the punctuality, is that right? Uh, it thinks they are unnecessary sorry, uh, are necessary, important, all right? And supportive of them, strongly process to their use or you consider they unfair. Just because someone um, tried to be not punctual, so it's not fair for the other who have um, a trait of punctuality. So the answer we go for it, did not hear, unfair, right? Everyone type D for me, please. <laughs> Moving to next, the last one would be how does Mr. Aiken justify the company dress code? Justify, give a reason here. Mm -hmm. Claim, right? Many of the companies also have one. Is that okay? True, opinion is responsible for creating it. It ensures fair distribution of time and work and then company client have demanded. The dress company course we can look at again. Sorry. Contrary opinions in writing or in person are welcome at monthly, meaning that it's feel free to talk about dress code if you, um, I mean, like if you are not accepting for this kind of um, rule or regulation here, right? So the answer we go for, through opinion is responsible for creating it. B boy here, everyone type B for me, please. That's all, that's it, all right. Um, so it's all about reading comprehension. It's a little bit tricky and it's a little bit difficult. I can say that what you need to do is that just review again, right? Try to timing yourself for one minute to finish reading it and using some skills, right? Reading skill, fast reading skill, or even technique, uh, skim and scan to apply for your, your own reading comprehension, right? One and two, at least one minute, just because in the real test, you need to uh, finish or try to do it in time, uh, just only for one and two minute here. And then for the questions, what you need to do is that try to understand the question first, and try to eliminate the possible wrong choices here, A or B, B or C, or even D or uh, C or D here. And what you need to do is that uh, try to understand the meaning of in context or comprehend a bit, just because it's not directly said in the context here. Clear me, clear him clear, you know. Mm. <laughs> That's it, okay. So um, I think just because reading comprehension, you need to pace yourself. I mean, you need to um, take times a bit. So your responsibility here is all about try to do by your own here, this one. Uh -huh. just, just because it's all about like, uh, you can practice your reading test one, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, okay? And now we are going to do the vocabulary test, uh, vocabulary for rhetoric here, right? 11.1 um, here, absolutely, negligent, abandoned, oversight, plagiarism, accidentally, procrastination, randomized, and effectiveness. I don't know what I mean, crop that name. Just type only, so who, who, who end with, Oh, right? You can choose A. 
นับเลขหนึ่งมาอะไรกันนะครับโอเค one two three go <laughs> All right. I'm going to ask for a uh, group presenters. Uh, group presentation. Try to keep this kind of vocabulary together. And try to generate as much as possible here. Let me check. Let me say, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen student done for vocabulary number one here. Done, done, done. Right. Done for eleven point one. Okay. Shall we go to the next one? Moving to next. Intentionally, fraudulent, proposed, excellent, unfortunately, severity, eradication, seemingly, executive, and then culmination. All right, one, two, three, go. Yeah. All right, good. Let me check. Let me see. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one and twenty-two. Twenty-two students done for eleven point two. So I need to type done for eleven point two here. Shall we go for the next slide? One, two, three, go. Next constitution, moderation, elimination, announcement, annihilation, annihilation, establishment, massively, naturally, duration, and then the last one. Um, Passionately. That's it. One, two, three, go. And the team present gave the answer. Do you know? Correct. Let me check. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. Twenty done, done, done. Right. Done four. Done four. Eleven point three. That's it for vocabulary for today class. Uh huh. And the last section for today before we go. So now we have to create a meaningful sentence here with get, get away with, get down with, get off with, get on with, get in with, get something over with, get hate, sorry, go hate with, 
go along with, go through with, and go in with. It's all about like um, idiom or even the collocation that comes together, the word that comes together. So I would suggest that you can search the meaning first and try to un understand it and um, create your own sentence here. If you're ready, one, two, three, go. Yeah. Any questions so far? ไม่มีนะครับก็สําหรับข้อสอบ final นะครับขออนุญาตผู้ประสาทไทยหน่อยก็คือว่าจะเป็น reading อย่างเดียวนะครับก็จะเป็นพวก email memorandum ต่างๆนะครับในส่วนของ reading นะครับข้อสอบทั้งหมดในส่วนของ reading เนี่ย part 2เนี่ยจะจะมีทั้งหมด75ข้อนะครับข้อละ6คะแนนและก็ listening ก็คือ full option ร้อยข้อข้อละ5คะแนนนะ that's it Uh, to those of you just um, done for writing, right, or finish everything, you can feel free to leave up from the Zoom. That's all. พิมพ์เข้ามาเลย crush อย่าลืมนะครับทิมพรีเซนต์เก็บคำศัพท์แล้วก็เซฟแชทให้หน่อยนะอ
จานขาครับผมขออนุญาตสอบถามนะคือว่าเราสอบไฟนอลวันไหนล่ะคะเอ่อของเราโดนวันจันทร์ใช่ไหมคือในเดือนพฤษภาครับวันสุดท้ายคือวันที่สิบแปดเดี๋ยวเขาเช็คก่อนนะครับไอจะสอนสองสวิกก็คืออ่าวันที่สองนี้เรียนใช่ไหมครับวันที่สองคือ class reflection ส่วนวันที่เก้าวันที่เก้า off ไหมวันที่เก้าร้อยสิบหกสักวันหนึ่งนี่แหละค่ะวันที่สองวันวันเอ่อคือเขาเริ่มสอบประมาณวันที่วันที่เก้าถึงอ่คือมันหยุดเยอะวันวันเอ่อเดี๋ยวนะแป๊บหนึ่งนะครับปฏิทินในมอคือวันไหนอ่ะอันนี้อันนี้อาจารย์ก็ไม่ทราบเหมือนกันแต่เท่าที่เท่าที่ทราบเนี่ยก็คือประมาณเก้าถึงสิบแปดครับค่ะไหมใช่ใช่ใช่เพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยอาจจะสอบตั้งแต่วันที่สองก็ได้แต่ว่าของอาจารย์โดโดเนี่ยจะมี class reflection คือสุดท้ายอครับผมก็คือสอบไฟนอลของไอน่าจะอยู่ที่9หรือ16ครับผมสอบในคลาสนะครับเพราะว่าวิชา ECP เนี่ยมันจะเป็นวิชาที่แบบว่าเหมือนอใช้อาจารย์พิเศษสอนโคเพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยสอบก็เลยต้องรันตามคลาสจะไม่มีสเกจเจอร์ในไฟนอลนะครับโอเคค่ะขอบคุณค่ะครับผมแต่งคิวค่ะอาจารย์แต่งคิวครับขอบคุณนายสเดย์ตั้งใจเรียนนั่นเนี่ยโอเคอ่ะรีบรีบพิมพ์เข้าไปแล้วก็ไปซูมได้แล้วนะครับเที่ยงละโอเคแล้วค่ะพิมพ์แล้วค่ะโอเคนะครับ thank you ครับผมงั้น I have to finish a class just a l a t e s t and see you next week bye bye ครับคิวค่ะคิวค่ะ